That was Mitch. Vicious Pitbull, everybody. That was Luna. They're both heavy. I'm out of breath just from picking them up. I'm gonna shut this camera off and go to the gym. So after we released the intro video, uh, we ended up getting a pretty good amount of hits. Um, not actually on YouTube where this is going to be released, but through the social media platforms that we released it on. It got a lot of great feedback and a little bit of excitement out of it, so I'm clearly going to have to do a little bit of a better job of steering people towards the YouTube, otherwise they won't get the subscribers and likes and, you know, it just won't take the, the right flight that it actually needs to. So a couple of the episodes that we're going to be doing, I wanted to make sure I got booked. We're actually going to be doing a, a feature on the goalie from the Connecticut Whale, which is in the NWHL, which is a professional women's hockey league. Uh, the Connecticut Whale play right out of here in Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, her name is Kira. She went to Utica College, she plays pro. She works at Wesleyan University full time. So we get to talk to her about balancing all of those things while being a professional goalie. We're also going to get video of her training uh, off ice and we're also going to get some on ice training with her so we're going we're gonna to do quite a bit of torturing her on camera and for her she'll probably enjoy it because she's a professional athlete and that's, that's what they do. We're going to go up to Cheshire, Connecticut. We're going to go to a gym called Royal Fitness. Royal Fitness is owned by my friend Louis Serrano. He is a former Marine, so I'm going to try and sneak attack him and see if he's still got the self-defense skills. Your head of security just choked himself out. Um, I'll let everybody know the day I go and film, because if you don't hear from me again, it means his self-defense probably kicked in and my body's probably buried in a desert somewhere. <laughs> We're going to go to his gym and we're going to talk to him about running his gym and again the balance in his life as he's also working full time at Yale University and he also on top of that works for CES Boxing and MMA in their digital media. So Lewis has a completely full plate and we're going to talk to him about what it's like having to do all three of those things. Another exciting thing we have coming up is uh, for my friend Los. Now I'm not really excited for Los. He has plenty of excitement for himself. Just ask him and he'll tell you. Actually, don't ask him. He'll go on for about two hours about how excited about himself he is. So scratch that idea. So Los has his podcast coming back. He started a podcast last year. Um, he didn't get to do it as regular as he wanted to between his work and then he's also a, a head coach for a professional MMA fighter. Uh, fighter that we'll also be seeing a little bit more about and We're gonna be bringing that podcast back. It was a great podcast. It was very informative. He was he was great at interviewing the people Time was just a factor. We're gonna be revamping that and when I say we I mean him uh, It's his show, but I'm gonna be going down and doing video of a bunch of his podcasts just because it's really fun to be there I'll probably be on one and our initial podcast will probably be me interviewing Los uh, The podcast is called Los in Translation. You can find it online at loscast.com But share all this. Get people to come and follow me and check this stuff out. This is going to be called On Location, and it's with Champion City Sports, and I'm really excited to start shooting this stuff. <music> Lastly, here's a little bit from last night's game. Hopefully throughout the series, 
I learned to speak without slurring my words like I've been pounding crown royal all day. Okay, what time is it? Can I get a drink now? This light in my face, I can't see any clocks right now. All I see are spots. Uh -huh.